you will be getting value from these sessions. So I want to bring up my incredible colleagues, my incredible friends, Brian Proctor and Chris Murray, to see if you have any questions of us. And then I promise you, I'll, I'll share with you what the next steps may be for you. Okay. Brian and Chris, where are you? Hey. There he hey, is. Hey, Susanna. Hello, Brian. How are you doing? I'm doing good. And good. hello, everybody. Hello. And where is hey. Chris? I can't see Chris. Here. I'm here. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> there, there he is. Hello, Chris. How are you? So good to see you. So good to see I think, you. I think we need to speak to show up. Is that how it works? There we go. I've got the three of you on my screen. So there we go. <laughs> so good to be here with you. My God, Chris, what a magnificent job you have done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as I said yesterday, Brian, I keep getting emails from people and they're like, oh, you know, the sessions with you and Brian are fantastic. But my session with Chris has been amazing. And I'm like, oh, thank you. You know, so thank you, Chris, <laughs> and thank you, Brian. Uh, thank you. You know what? If, can I can I say a little something before we get into a, a Q and A of any type? Is that okay, Absolutely. Chris? You don't mind? Um, it, it, first off, I, I agree with you. For anybody that's had the one on one with Chris, you, I mean, you know, if you've already had it, Chris is such an easy, relaxing guy to talk to, and he seems to sense what you need and where you need to go, and that's uh, that's a talent. I got to say that. Um, anyway, I, I want to share something with everybody um, that I think is relevant here to kind of close up this five days. Um, there's a fellow that I've been looking into a little bit lately that is one of the most interesting guys I have ever, uh, I guess, gotten information from, studied, whatever it may be. Uh, he's a guy I'd like to meet. Um some of you will know the name as soon as I say it, and others you might not know the name at all. Um, the fellow's name is Rick Rubin. If you know who Rick Rubin is, if you look him up, he, he you'd swear he was a homeless man on this side of the street. Um, this man is not worth just millions. He's worth hundreds of millions. He's a music producer. And, uh, you know, we talk about the power of decision and, and all of that. I look at this guy and I think he's such a great example of the power of decision. Rick Rubin will be the first one to tell you, he doesn't care what you think of him. And you can tell just by, if you Google him and just look at a picture of him, he doesn't care. Um, it's irrelevant. You know, my dad always said to me, he says, it doesn't matter what other people think of you. What's important is what you think of you. And that's the key. And, you know, this fella was a music, or still is, a music producer, and he has produced some very serious musicians in his lifetime. And when he did it, this is how he did it. He didn't produce it to try to appease the masses. Um, when we do things, we should never do it to appease the masses. We should do it for ourselves. What is right for you? Mm -hmm. And Rick Rubin, when he produced records or, or music for these musicians, he produced it to what he liked, what felt good for him. And if it was good enough for him, there's going to be enough other people out there that are going to love it. That's how he did it. He didn't worry about what other people would think, anything of that nature. Really a, an interesting way of being. And quite frankly, I think a really valuable way of being. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so for whatever it's worth, I just uh, I, I was looking him up today and, and doing a couple of things. And I thought, you know, that's a really relevant little piece to bring here. Um, so, you know, I challenge all of you, don't worry about what other people think when you go to make a decision. Um, because quite frankly, they don't think that much anyway. Um, they're worried about all their own stuff. So you do what's right for you. Live the way you want to live. Mm -hmm. And when you can start doing that, not worry about everybody else to the same same degree, um, that, that is the first step of making good decisions and really moving forward in your own life.
Mm. So there, there's my there's my rant for the day. <laughs> love that, love that, love that. I'm gonna look up Ruben. Uh, what was it, Ruben? Rick Ruben. <laughs> Rick Ruben. Yeah, Rick, I was gonna say Rick Ruben. Ruben. I'll definitely look him up. <laughs> that just comes back to what you were saying yesterday with intuition, really trusting yourself. You know, yeah. um, and and again, use us as an example. You know, it reminded me, Brian, of when I was at work, you know, wanting to leave work for, for my business and my boss, my parents, everyone thought I was crazy, but I did it anyway. So use use us as your example. Okay. Any questions of any of us? No one is completely on your side. A line from a lyric from a song whose name I can't remember, yet the lyric is powerful. Wow. Wow. Love that. And thank you for another golden nugget. Rick Rubin. <laughs> no questions. Okay, thank you. I like so that, Gary. <laughs> Yeah, if anybody has a question about anything over the last five days, um, something that you uh, you're maybe hung up on or want some help with, um, I promise you, if you have the question, somebody else does here too. So it's uh, you're in a safe space. Absolutely. So Michelle, you have a question. Um, you can put it in the chat box or or ask. Um, just unmute yourself. I think it'd be easier if I just unmute because I'd be typing. Hey, for there's her. Michelle. <laughs> Hi, I am here. <laughs> I do have a question and I'm hoping this is the right audience to ask this. Um, when it comes to success and you're, you're getting the success you've been wanting and working toward and you're feeling really good about yourself and things are just, you know, kind of popping along for you. And all of a sudden you have somebody in your circle that you have held, um, I don't want to say in high esteem, but you thought were, was a friend. And um, though they kind of pull the rug out from underneath you and you find out that, oh, they weren't who I thought they were. Mm -hmm. um, they were great until you found the success. You know, they see you heading in this direction and um, you're, you're making progress. You're helping people, you know, working on your dream and it's getting closer and closer. And all of a sudden you have, one, two, three people, all of a sudden they're like treating you differently and, and maybe even talking about you behind your back and things like that. How I, me and Susanna have talked about this, but I kind of want a guy's perspective, you know, from Brian and Chris, <laughs> you know, has that happened to you guys? How do you handle it? That type of a thing. Chris, do you mind if I start? <laughs> sure. Go for it. Michelle, um, I can answer this one easily um, because this has happened to me. Um, so I've done some things over the last couple of years since my father's passed um, that I've really stepped out and started to do some different things. I wrote the book. I've, I've done, uh, I've, I've started speaking on stage. Um, I've started to do a lot of different things. And um, my life is a lot different. Um, you know, I, I used to always be the support person for my father. I did all the marketing and all the behind the scenes thing. I was never the front guy. Not that I want to be a front man because that's not my, it's not my thing. Um, but, but I have been because I want to keep that message going out there. I have had very close people to me look at me like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? You don't need to do this. You're comfortable. You can just relax. Like, um, why, why are you doing this? Um, and when I say close, I mean, really close, um, uh, like family member close, um, certainly some close friends. And uh, I, I've had now on the other side, I've had a lot of people to support it and think it's, this is great. Um, you know, but you will always get, when you start elevating where you're at, some people in your close proximity are not going to like it. And the reason why they don't like it is because you're creating change. When you change, you cause the way everybody has to look at you. And nobody likes to be changed. And not that you're changing them, but you're having to change their viewpoint of you because of what you're doing. Um, so 
what I have done, and and when I say this, like close people, I, I, I won't say who, um, but I have the mindset to realize that they may in words be attacking me, but all they're doing is they're showing their poor thinking, their poor way of looking at things. And that's what you need. To, you, you just need to recognize that, gosh, I'm sorry for you. Um, they're showing their stuff. And just, just recognize that. I'm not going to say it doesn't hurt, but it will hurt less if you realize it's their stuff. It's not for you to take on. And it's up to you to accept or reject whatever they're throwing at you. So I challenge you to reject it and just recognize that's their stuff and don't worry about it. Um, I still love these people. I still talk to them. I still do whatever I can for them. Um, and eventually they'll come around um, and they actually are starting to. Um, but uh, I, I just, you just need to know that that's their stuff. So don't let their stuff change you. That's it. Chris, you probably have another way of looking at it, but. Yeah, I, mean, I agree 100 percent with what you said. I mean, when you like when you grow and you change, it does kind of change that relationship because they always saw you the way they saw you. So even they may not be consciously doing this, but unconsciously they will do it. And I think you have to just take it upon yourself to, to spend less time with those people, because especially when you're growing, you're doing something big, like the last thing you need is any sort of energy that's going to bring you back down or make you feel bad. I mean, think about that, like people making you feel bad about creating success. So and again, a lot of the times these people are not doing it on purpose. And, you know, your friends and family sometimes can honestly be your worst resources, you know, not meaning to be they want the best for you. But again, when you grow and you change, it forces them to change. And, you know, same in marriages and spouses. I mean, it's it's it can be difficult sometimes, you know, but honestly, you don't have time for it. So this is why it's so important to get yourself into a better environment. So get around other big thinkers, big doers. And I think, you know, that alone, I think everyone should be doing. If you want to get to the next level, you got to get around other people that are trying to get to the next level too. And people that are already at that next level so you can learn from them. But, you know, just tune them out, you know, because I, I think a lot of us have experienced it and, you know, we just went over to a family member's house for Easter and I've just learned to uh, tune certain people out. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Wow. Love it. Love it. Michelle, can I add to that? I know I know that you and I have had these conversations. Um, absolutely. A hundred percent what what Brian and, and Chris um, have said. And um, I love what Chris mentioned there, actually, because in our success magnet this morning, one of the things that they were saying, it was that collective support of people that they met you know, twice or three times a week in the success magnet that has elevated them. So it's so important that you have a community that sees you in your success. I can't, um, you know, I can't, uh, you know, say that enough. Um, and for me, all of what both Brian and, and Chris have said, for me, it is a part of your success. Um, so two, re two things. First of all, remember, you're going to have the equal opposite. When you start to change and you align with a goal that you've never had ex uh, before, before you get to the goal, you're going to experience the equal opposite. You're going to experience the equal opposite in your physical environment in terms of, you know, um, other areas of your life and in terms of people too. And often it's the people that surprise you, right, that you thought had your back for the reasons that Brian and Chris shared. OK, so that's the law of polarity when you understand uh, success laws. Now, the way that I'm starting to see this is you can use this rather than pay them attention and get hurt by it. And sometimes it hurts, um, still hurts a bit when it happens to me. OK, but you can use that resistance to catapult you forward, just like so a plane takes off when there is the most resistance Okay, so this is actually happening for you so that you can take off, right? So you must remember that. Um, and secondly, the biggest lesson for me was I was a people pleaser because I love people. I love people so much. 
but it's driven me to when these things happen to align with my self-image, align with my self-image, align who is it that I am um, and who do I want to be in response to this situation? Um, so, yeah, so that's a, that's an ad from a female. <laughs> I know you wanted to hear the male perspective. Thank you so hey. much, Michelle, for your for your um, question. Um, does hey, this I, I, Michelle, I've got one final thing just to add to it. Make sure, no matter what they say or do, that you still just love them. Don't yeah. look at them differently. Try not to. Try to just keep loving them. Um, they'll feel that energy, and that will be a protection for you as well. You don't need to go down that path. It's a, it's a, it's a very important piece. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, just send us their names. We'll send messages to them. <laughs> you just keep loving them, and we'll gang up on them, okay? <laughs> 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 okay, thank you so much, Michelle. Anyone else have a, another question? Anyone have a question? Johnny, oh. Johnny did. Hello, Johnny. Hello. I was waiting for Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, what's your question? Uh, look, I was just going to firstly let me say what it, how incredible it is to be in the presence of uh, of Brian um, and and certainly Susanna and Chris. You guys, you guys rock. But uh, Brian, I followed your dad for a long time and. You know, what an absolute rock star. In fact, I'm going through that whole, um, you know, you were born rich. Uh, oh, it's fantastic. Wow. It's fantastic. Talk about talk about. I, I had hair results. back then, Johnny. Did you yeah, see that? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> talk about a great resource on YouTube. It's fantastic. But um, I just want to say, and just in response to what Michelle was saying too, it's unfortunate that we, that we live in a world where, um, you know, people are struggling with their own stuff. And, and as a result, they, you know, they feel good about listening to, someone else's pain, you know? So yeah, call it part of that tall poppy syndrome as well that we that we experience here in Australia for sure. But but um, you know, people do feel better when they listen when they listen to you know the negative stuff going going on in your life. It makes them feel better. But you know, I just for me, look, I've 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 had the same with uh, with people. I I do what I want to do. It's taken a while. What you're saying, Susanna, about uh, people pleasing, wow, that is such a I mean, I've been a people pleaser for a long time very positive, very motivating. People love me. You know, I'm always, always with a big heart, but you can get trampled on as well a little bit. So, um, but I use it as fuel. You know, I do. I just use it as fuel. When I hear that stuff, I think, okay, great. I'm, you just wait, you know, and see what I'm going to do. And, uh, and that's it. So, but it's unfortunate that people do those close to you. It is, um, they are like that. And Michelle, you just got to, and sometimes people, yes, you got to love on them. But I also believe that sometimes people come into your life for a chapter or a season or whatever for a reason, and sometimes they it's time to let people go. That's the hard part. But I've started to do that, and uh, you know, once or twice, it's okay. I've got my wife who supports me like a rock, and that's all I need. So anyway, just want to share that. But blessed to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. You did you have a question? Thank you, Johnny. Um, no, I don't think I did. I think I just wanted to add that. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Johnny's. Always, oh my God, Johnny's energy is just amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I think Stephanie, Stephanie has a turn. Stephanie. Hello. Hi, Drag. Hey, Stephanie. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Um, I typed my question in the chat, but I just figured I will just um, say it here. So my question was, what are the fundamentals of building a successful community that will stay with you for the long haul? Mm. Right. Susanna, do you want to answer that? Do you want me to answer that? Do you want Chris oh, to answer that? You can go first. You go first. Yeah. Um, you know what, Stephanie? One of the first things you is that's really important, and this is something that... Um, uh, Suzanne has done with the success magnet group, and that is to create a mastermind. Um, you want to create a group of like-minded people that are all looking to go somewhere. And it can be a group as, as small as two people. Um, I would say probably no more than six. Um, six might even be on the edge of too much, but six is probably fine too, um, up to that, that length. And your whole focus is what can you do to help the other people in the group? That's it. It's not about you. Um, if you can form a group like that, that everybody is interested in helping the other people, they're going to help you. Uh, you're going to help them. Um, you will all grow together. That is a way to build a strong alliance 
of people that will all help you, that you're going to help. And um, uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen anything that works as well as a, as a really good mastermind. And um, you just got to look for a couple of like-minded people, people that want to grow and then just start working with them. And they don't need to be friends. Um, they can be acquaintances. You will become friends as you progress through that. But that's, that's in my opinion, the best way to start. Yeah, and that was really clear with the success magnets this morning when we met with them, Stephanie, the mastermind group and that, um, you know, just that group that they belong to, that they really care about each other. Um, Stephanie, so my... Um, so I've been doing this for over seven years and one of my strengths is, and, and I've got, you know, people in my community here that, that would probably definitely back me up on this. Um, I naturally attract people that create an, an incredible community and Brian and Chris, we've experienced this also with the success magnets. Um, there's, they just form together as a community and just really love um, you know, working with each other to the point where we've had some people from the US come to Melbourne. Angie in this group is one of them to meet everybody in the community. Um, when I reflect on how I did that, uh, first of all, the passion and the love has to come from you. Whatever's happening within you is resonating outside into your community and service. One of the things that I've learned from the Proctor family, from if you knew Bob, generosity and love and service. Brian, you've all experienced Brian, um, you know, in, in the confidence code service. How do I help? Chris, you've all experienced Chris one-on-one. -on -one, okay. How do I help? Right. That's the four, that's at the forefront of our mind and our heart. Right. So it starts with you first. From there, you're going to start to attract like-minded people. Okay. When you start to get momentum in your community, make sure you have somebody probably from within in that community or somebody that you can completely trust to resource the community, okay? Um, because they are your biggest asset. And when you see them in their success through the work that you do, they will naturally start to form a community. A great example is look at all of you in here today. We've only been together for five, um, five sessions, 45-minute sessions. And there's already a community that has been formed. We're receiving messages. We're receiving emails. Um, some of you are saying that you do not want this to end because of the three of us, but because of who you're starting to meet and the vibration of all of you working together in harmony. So there's a community that's just been formed right here. What have you learned from this? Okay. And we would love to keep this community going. That's the feedback that we've received from you. Chris. Yeah. So Stephanie, are you talking about like building a community for, for your business? You're talking about like followers and stuff. Yeah. A hundred percent authenticity. Just be you like, don't like the biggest issue. I see a lot of people, they're all trying, they're copying everybody else doing whatever everybody else does. And especially for you, cause we had the discussion. I think it's such a unique thing that I think if you're just, you be yourself, teach the things that you want to teach and, you know, and just get out there and start doing it. Like people that are that will connect with you, will follow you, and that will build the community. But just keep providing value, keep providing service. You know, I think that's to me. I think that's the most important thing. Just be you. Okay. Oh, well, I got to jump in. Then I misunderstood the question. So Stephanie, if, if what Chris was saying, if you're looking to build a community online and all that kind of thing, uh, he is dead on. Just be authentic. Speak from your heart. Speak. Speak your truth. Um, it, here's the way to look at it. Uh, I'm in, I, I, I live, I'm Canadian. I got to make that clear, but I'm living in the U S and my God, the politics in the U S I don't think I need to say anymore. It's nuts. Here's the thing. 50% are one way, 50% are the other way. You will only be able to please half of the people. That's it. Uh, politics is such a great example of that. So you be authentic to you. And you will please half of the people. You'll resonate with half of the people. And believe you me, that's a big audience. Um, so you just, uh, you, you just always come from your heart, always come from a place of delivering value and uh, you'll, you'll rock star it. Absolutely. I agree with that too. Thank you. Um, yeah. And don't watch what other people are doing, do you? 
Okay, so we've one more question from the incredible Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Hello. Hi, Jenny. So good to see you. <laughs> um, I was wondering if you could explain the law of order and how it pertains to, to confidence and to setting a goal and uh, everything else that we've talked about. Absolutely. So love to hear your perspective, Brian and Chris. The only reason why is Jenny's been with me for years. So you probably know my perspective. So, yeah. I, I guess I'm not quite sure what you mean by the law of order. Uh, Susanna was talking about the universal law, about how the universe loves order. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm... Um, the, the universal laws get talked about a lot, like throughout, like all of Bob Proctor's stuff and mm -hmm. Susanna talks about them a lot, but I don't actually know what the universal laws are. And I know, I understand that the universe loves order, but I'm, I don't understand how it pertains to what, what I'm doing when I'm pursuing a goal. Okay. Sorry, I was going off camera there. So here's a here's an interesting book you'll want to find. Um, so now I understand what you're talking about. You see this? Uh, Working with the Law by Raymond Hollywell. You can get that on Amazon. It's um, it's not a long read, um, and it talks about all the different laws. And uh, so the order, I guess, when you say order, order is just being in alignment with good, being in alignment with the right, knowing that what you put out comes back. Um, and it, so if you wanna work within the laws, that it's, it's, it's just that. Um, always know that what you give energy to, what you think about, that's what you're gonna bring into your life. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it's hard to give a great explanation in, in even five minutes. That book will give you a really clear understanding because it goes through all of the laws and how they operate in our life. And really the, the bottom line, the essence, if I was to, to lay it all over, somebody said, please show the book again. Working with a Law by Raymond Hollywell. Um, the bottom line is this. I think Johnny said it earlier, we're like magnets. Um, we are like magnets. We will attract into our life whatever we put out, the kind of energy we put out, the way we are in this world, how we look at the world. The world looks at us the way we look at it. Um, if we see nonsense and nastiness, that's what's going to see us. If we see the good in the world, if we look at life through rose-colored glasses, we'll see all the good in the world. Mm -hmm. That's really it when it comes down to order. Make sure that what you're thinking about is in alignment with what you want. Don't want one thing and think, oh, I can never have that. Because whatever you're thinking about is what you're going to bring into your life. We are truly a magnet. Whatever we're giving energy to, that's what we're going to bring. So if you want more good, stay focused on the good and just put out good. The, 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 the law of reciprocity, whatever you put out comes back. It might not come back right away, but I promise you, you put that energy out there, it's going to come back to you. So make sure everything you're putting out is really good and good will come back to you. That's that's it in, in, in a tiny essence, I guess. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Just, just to add to that too, like I would just say like order, like in relation to the goal, Yeah. you know, look, I've worked with thousands of people and I'm doing one-on-one -on -one calls, ask them, what's the goal? What are you working towards? And I will say 99.9% .9 of people say, I know exactly what I want. And I can ask two or three questions. It'll be very clear that they don't know what they want because it's not <laughs> easy. It's not easy. See, people think that that's an easy process. I personally think that's one of the hardest things in the world to do. I really do. Because, and I think if you have chaos in the mind, there's never going to be order in your results. So it's just like they say, our outer world is a reflection of our inner world. So again, if we don't have order in our mind, you know, like if if our rooms are messy, usually we're chaos, chaos in the mind, right? It's just, again, all this reflects in our outer world. 
And this is why I think it is so important to get so clear on exactly what it is that you want to see for yourself. And the way you do that is it just takes time. And on a lot of the calls that I've had, you know, with, with people one-to-one, -one, we've talked about getting clear on the vision, like just being incredibly descriptive. Like you wake up tomorrow, you roll out of bed. What do you, how do you really want to be living, you know, and bring your senses into it. Like you really want to paint a clear picture. So for me, I've always used that to get clear on the goal. And from that, get clear on, you know, starting to work towards the goal. Because here's the thing, if you're not clear, and this is one of the things that I'm sure Brian and Susanna can relate to, like at, um, we used to do an event called The Matrix. It was one of my favorite things we did. And it was always every single matrix, every single one. Day three is when we're writing out the goals and starting to share it with each other. And we're, we're getting everybody to write it in a, just a con concise manner, like a few sentences tops. And you got to be able to explain it so that someone that's sitting next to you can understand exactly what it is that you're going after so that they know they can help you. And when we started doing this, this would take like two days to do this, to write two sentences. And people would be crying, panicking, because again, like I said, it's, it's not easy to do this. And, you know, personally, I think people need help to do these things. I think we're just never taught. A hundred percent. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And that's why we start with what you want, right? So your mind is a goal achieving mechanism. What you focus on is what you'll get. Okay. So it needs clarity. Have absolutely loved this time with you, Brian, with you, Chris, and with all of you. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for choosing the confidence code. Um, as I said, I wanted to talk to you about Success Magnet because so many of you have reached out. We've had, um, I think I told you, Brian and Chris, we've had quite a few people that are in Success Magnet already that want to do the next round. Well, we've got something very, very, very special for all of you. You now know you've experienced where you can be in just five sessions, okay? But this work is a lifetime journey. You're not going to get permanent results just from a quick workshop. You have, you have learned so much about yourselves. You've got a workbook. You've got clarity of where you want to go. You know how to make decisions. Where would you be in six months' time if you had the three of us with your back? Weekly sessions with the three of us, helping you go deeper and deeper into your success and creating the life that you want. So Success Magnet up until now has only been three months, but we're extending it to six months the next round. We only take 10 people at any one time. And I think a few of those places are already booked with um, success magnets that are coming through again. Um, you get a mastermind, as Brian said. We match you up with an accountability partner. You get weekly calls. You get hot seat coaching with Brian Proctor himself, one-on-one -on -one with you in a group setting. You get one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. You get sessions with Chris also. Um, you get my book, my two books, actually, I'm going to give. One was on uh, the, the New York Times Square in January called Renewing Your Mind. You'll get Brian's book. Um, you get Emma Ferris's personal training. There are so many editions. Katrina Andrews' health program. Um, so many, so many jam-packed. So please do jump on board. Anyone that jumps on board in the next few days will get a bonus Q&A session with Brian Proctor. Um, and we'll also jump on board um, for a session with you too. So please do jump on board if you want to see your permanent results. We want to serve you. Thank you so much. Have a chat to Chris. Make sure you've you've got your, uh, your second strategy session, final strategy session with Chris booked after that. If you're not in Success Magnet, Chris is going to be booked. So, so make sure you book your sessions today. I want to thank every single one of you. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for choosing you first and foremost. Please, please, please connect with your goal. Like Chris and Brian said, know exactly what you want and what you're giving out is coming back to you. We look forward to being with you again in future. I know an incredible community like this is not formed if it's not meant to stay together. I know that from my own experience. Um, Chris, if you can put the link in the chat box too for everybody, you may have done that already um, so that they um, you know, know what they get. 
Um, so we look forward to, to getting to know you deeper, working with you, and thank you for being a part of our community. Um, say yes to you, and we know that you've all got an incredible future ahead of you. I want to introduce three very, very special women to us. That is the incredible Ali Walsh, um, Angie Spong, and Michelle Poole. So if you could just stay on for a few more minutes um, so that they can jump on and just share with you some of their inspiration and the incredible things that they have been working on as success magnets. Thank you so much. Bye for now. I know that we will see you all soon. God bless. Over to you, Ali. Hi. <laughs> Wasn't that amazing, guys? Oh, my gosh. Um, how many golden nuggets I got out of that information, all those sessions that we've just had. But remember what Susanna said? It's about the work that you do after the sessions that make that counts. So make sure you do the homework and everything that they have told you to do. But here with me is Michelle um, Poole. I'm just looking for her. There she is. And Angie Spoon, uh, Spawn, sorry. Um, we have that. <laughs> I can't believe I slipped up on your name. We are not only part of this great community, but we've also friends. We've grown um, to form a beautiful friendship over the last few years with working with Susanna. So we're just going to go through how we, what we've done over the last couple of years, how we've found it, um, and just have a conversation so you can get an understanding of what you'd be in for, the amazing adventure journey that you'll be in for if you do take that jump. So for those who don't know me, my name is Ali Walsh. I'm here in Melbourne, Australia. I'm a publisher. I'm an author of five children's books and three e-books, but I also run a publish, um, a buyer's agency and a vendor's advocacy called Walsh Brown Property as well. Um, I've been working with Susanna for a couple of years. Um, my only regret of working with her for only a couple of years is that I didn't, I didn't find her sooner. I wish I had have had her in my 20s, in my teens, um, but the amazing work that I've done with her over the last few years has just been, oh, it's, I just can't put into it the few minutes that we have. Um, so what I've seen is not only um, growth in my professional life, but also my personal life. My children have absorbed the information that I've taken on. It's just been amazing. Um, but Michelle, I think you are you one of um, Susanna's longest running clients. I am. Yeah, do you want to? Yeah, um, do you want to just share some of that? Sure. Yeah, I started working with Susanna at the end of 2018. And I think that was right about the time, if you list, if you remember her story, um, right around the time that she, you know, started her business and was trying to get it off the ground. And um, I was her first um, United States client, her first American client. So. Um, I tell you, when I look back at to 2018, I don't even recognize myself anymore. And that is no lie. Um, you had said it before, Allie, uh, everything from my goals to my professional life, um, my relationships have improved. Um, I have a, 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 a 40 hour a week job plus my own business. And when I started working with Susanna, I had an annual review and my manager just looked at me and said, after I was working with Susanna for about six to nine months, my manager looked at me and said, I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it because my, my performance review was just really, really, really good. Um, so professionally and personally, um, it, it was just, I don't even recognize, like I said, I don't even recognize my life anymore. Um, so it, it's been, it's been, um, quite the journey with Susanna. Um, she is definitely one of a kind, um, with the, the success or the confidence code or the success magnet, sorry. Um, you have, not only do you have Susanna, but you have Brian and you have Chris. What a trifecta, honestly. Um, that you don't like, you can't get that anywhere else. I, I don't know how you could pass something like that up. Um, truly um, a, a wonderful opportunity that you should seriously, seriously consider because um, working with the three of them for six months, it, you'll be on a rocket ship for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. And looking back, it's just amazing. Like just even the last few months, it's just, you know, it's incredible what we can actually look back and see the differences in all of us. Oh, yeah. And not only like if you're trying to build a business, but even how you see the world. When I started working with Suzanne to now how I see the world differently and how I understand 
the energy and how to think and why, you know, how to bring things to you, you know, and, and what energy to stay in and, and all of that. It, it, I see the world completely different than I did when I started working with her. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I agree. And Angie, you're like me a couple of years. Oh my gosh, just the, how you have grown and everything, the changes that we've both seen in each other. It's just been amazing. Did you want to share some of your journey? Sure. Um, I'm Angie. I live in the state of South Carolina, USA, um, two hours away from the Atlantic Ocean and about two and a half hours away from the Appalachian Mountains. And I happen to be about 9,858 miles from Melbourne. So, <laughs> um, And I'm a retired PE teacher that wanted to do something after I retired. And um, so I turned to RTT um, hypnotherapy. And so I'm a hypnotherapist. And uh, I've been working with Susanna for um, about a little over two and a half years. And um, man, it's amazing how you know, my business has grown. Um, and to, to show how much in 2022, I served 15 clients all year and 2023, I had 17 clients, not a big jump, but there was a little one, but this year, since doing starting success magnet in November and just doing success magnet for three months, I've already seen 12 clients already. And we're, this wow. is just the first uh, quarter of the year that we've gone through. So, which means I've already earned a little over half of the money that I've, I made all of last year. So it's been incredible. And, and not only that, but um, to see not just the, 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 my business grow, but I've seen a lot of growth in myself as a person and in my, in my confidence, it has just skyrocketed. Um, not only as a person, but also as an RTT therapist. Um, and quite frankly, having learned from Susanna how much, how we think in our mind has actually helped me to be a better therapist than I was with just the RTT training alone. Um, I can't stress that enough. Um, and I think that's why my clients get so much um, results that they want to get. So it's been an incredible journey these last three months through Success Magnet. It's to, you know, I usually don't brag about myself, but to look at myself in November when we started and to look at me now, I feel like a whole total different person as far as my confidence is concerned. So yeah, it's been, it's been an incredible journey for sure. Definitely. And congratulations to you on, on those numbers. That's just amazing. I had a very similar journey. So um, when I joined Susanna, it was more about my personal goals and the legacy I wanted to leave behind for my children, but it turned into much bigger than that. So Susanna showed me that what I thought was going to be impossible was actually possible. And I think in the first year or the second year, I doubled my income. In the third year, I've just kept, kept going and my goals have just um, increased and gotten bigger. So the success magnet saw me pivot my goals, um, which was amazing because I had, I thought I had big goals, but now I have really big goals and they are actually more in line, in line with who I am as a person, um, very different goals. Um, but I guess the thing for me for the success magnet was it working with those three amazing people that Susanna brought together, the, um, Chris Murray and Brian Proctor it just magnified and the community that they brought together as well. We just fit. We worked well. We've boosted each other. We've um, helped each other through different things. And the masterminds, uh, mastermind sessions are just amazing. I think we have all formed relationships, friendships, which when you, when you come into it, it's not the most important thing, but it actually turns out to be very important in helping you keep accountable, um, make your goals and dreams come true that they just, it just blows your mind. So it is just amazing. Um, I encourage you, if you are thinking that, that this might be the right thing for you, don't hesitate, jump. I was concerned when I first joined, I thought, oh, where am I going to find the money? I can't tell my husband, he's not going to agree, but I just jump. And as I said to you before, my only regret was that I didn't find Susanna earlier. Um, ladies, have you got any final words of wisdom to share with this group before we jump off? Because I know that we are now over time. Michelle? Um, just 
you know, the, the, the three of them for six months, I can't even, I don't even have words to explain what that could do for you. Um, but it would, it would definitely move you forward in a big way for sure. Definitely. Angie. Yeah. Um, I can't stress enough how much I felt like a fish out of water when I first joined success magnet, because the people in the group, I felt like their goals were so much bigger than my own. Um, and I thought, wow, I'm in the wrong place, but Susanna urged me to stick with it and don't give up yet. And um, so I did stick with it. I'm so glad that I did um, because with the, the, the mastermind group that I was put into and Susanna knows how to, I don't know how she knows how to fit people together, but she fit us together perfectly. Um, my accountability partner is the perfect fit for me as well. Um, but not only did the mastermind group take me in and I felt like, you know, I was the fish that got thrown back in the water and not only that, but they, that they, they let me swim with them in the school. So, you know, they, and now they're, uh, have become friends. Actually, you don't, you don't set out like, uh, Ali said that you don't set out to make friends. It just happens. And I can honestly say, you know, I've got, I've got friends all the way across the ocean now so that I can't wait to come visit again. And, and it's, it's incredible. So I just love, I love being a part of it and have absolutely no regrets whatsoever um, of joining the group. Definitely. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, Michelle. I totally uh, uh, agree. And I cannot encourage you guys to jump now. So this does conclude the Confidence Code. Thank you, everybody, for attending and participating. It's been absolutely amazing. The pearls of wisdom that you guys have, or even for me, I've managed to grab, uh, I've got all these notes all over the table from Brian, Chris, and Susanna. Susanna, thank you so much for bringing this together. It's been amazing. Brian Proctor for his wisdom, Chris Murray for his mentoring. Thank you, guys. We hope to see you in the magnet, uh, the success magnet, Hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.